Hey, I'm Jeff Caldwell, the owner of Heating Green, and we're going to show how you can easily install a Ducaterra Solar Ray heating panel at home. So first thing you're going to do, obviously, is take it out of the box. Keep the protective uh, plastic on here for, for not nicking it while you're installing it and keeping your fingerprints off it. So if we turn it around and put it on a ladder like this, we've got a single box that goes on the back right here. And so it's got a ground screw here, and you're going to notice it's got four holes in here. And then we have four small Phillips screws that we're going to attach to the back of the heater here. So now that we have the screws in, and they're secured tightly, we'll pick it up, put on both ladders that we've got set up here, and we'll attach the wires and the ground screw here. So these are the two leads. You got your hot and your neutral. We're doing a 120 volt, and there's your ground clip there. All right, so now that we have the heater on the ladder, what we're going to do is we're going to connect our wire to the box. First thing we have to do is take the cover plate out and this is just a knockout there. And we take our Romex connector here and pop it through and you may want to make sure that it goes the right way and that the wire is going through it. Otherwise they're tough to take out. All right, so there we go. Electricity's off. We tested that. And we're going to push this through here. The two wires in the ground. And we're using 12 gauge wire here, which is, is fine. This is just a 500 watt two by four heater here. So you can check that for strain relief right there. There you go. In no particular order, we can connect the black to the black, ensuring that that's covered up so it can't short out at all. Just give that a good, so it's nice and hand tight. And then we're gonna do the same with the white to the white here. We're going to take our needle nose pliers here. We're going to kind of bend this around so it attaches to the ground screw. Inside. So once the ground screw is connected to the uh, ground wire, and we can see that we've got enough wire that easily can fit in here with enough space in here, and the box um, easily uh, insulates and the electrical and um, keeps it from, if anything were to happen, that it's all, all housed in here. So the idea here is the Romex connector, the Romex <coughs> is connected to the Romex connector to the box, which is attached to here. Unlike a lot of uh, electrical situations where you'll have a box in the ceiling, for example, for a light or something like this, the box is connected right to the panel itself. Okay, now that we have the wiring secure to the heater, what we're going to do is lift it up in and we've cut a hole here so it's an existing hole but now it's just big enough so the electrical box will fit up. And so once we have it up here, okay, so go ahead and rotate it. Yep. Uh, yep. Right. What we'll do now, we're going to mark. The small screwdriver will make sure that we go into the sheetrock. Okay. And we're going to lower it back down. That will our holes marked. And we're going to get our drill out. Now that we've drilled this all out, we've, we've found that we're hitting a joist right here. And so we're going to put um, wood screws here and then the rest of these four holes over here, we're going to do toggles. So what we'll do is we're going to put the toggles in. There's two of the bolts. And we use three inch, which we supply with you for you. And then we um, don't supply the wood screws because most of the time people do have sheetrock. Now that we have our toggle nuts on bolts, we'll push this up in and we'll allow the toggle bolts, the four here, to kind of hold the entire heater. There, so now the panel is suspended and the last two uh, will be wood screws here. We hit wood. So what we'll do is we'll slowly secure the 
four, not making it tight yet. And putting a little tension on the panel often allows it, the toggle bolt to engage. So. And then we'll do the wood screws here at the end. Now that we have these secured up here, I'm just giving it a test to make sure it's no affects the panel. What we can do is we'll just pull this back and we've got our buttons. Now we have the buttons up here, what we can do, we'll test it or we're gonna be Sometimes it can be used as stuff on this case. We see that it's totally secure. It's not going to go anywhere. We turn the power on, and um, you can, if there is any like light dust from the uh, adhesion that's between the uh, panel and the uh, plastic, that um, you can wipe it down. And by the way, you can paint these uh, standard wall paint that's uh, water-based or acrylic or latex work just fine. So we turn the power on, and we're starting with a temperature of about. Uh, 80 degrees in here and this should warm up to right around 180 degrees so let's just give it a couple minutes here okay okay so after about five minutes this is reaching a temperature of approximately 180 degrees and this panel by the way at 2 by 4 500 watt is good for a room generally speaking for primary heat somewhere between 80 and 100 square feet also keep in mind the insulation that you have the number of windows um, the ceiling height are a factor so if you go on our website heatinggreen.com and go under our get a quote form or a heat calculator form, we can easily tell you approximately what you need. And you can also call us, obviously, at 800-618-4940. And thanks for watching.